Hi, Johnny Bergen here with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're talking about Trouble No More by Muddy Waters from 1955 with Jimmy Rogers. And it says Muddy Waters on guitar. Sometimes it's really hard to hear two guitars. But uh, there's a lot of mysteries about this deceptively simple song. And uh, I'm going to talk about it as best I can for this week's kind of a short lesson. A little bit hectic. I just hit the ground running from Japan. and um, But this is a great song to... Uh, to uh, try your honing your skills on, and, and there's so many things about this song that that make it so special. So you've got this groove like, I love the bare uh, thumb attack here, and then. That's really simple. That's just third finger up to the fifth fret of the B string. And then your first finger sitting right behind it, third fret of the E string. Then the first finger A chord. And your second finger is right there on the third fret of the A string. This might be great for some of you who are maybe a little more beginners and not um, slamming all the Calvin Fraser licks quite yet. You can work on this. You could play this on an acoustic guitar. I can't really hear that on the record, da donk, 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 but if you're using your fingers, why not have an upstroke too? That's all then. That's fine too. This is confusing because you've got a four bar intro and then he starts like, okay, along you go. And uh, when he goes to the four, you can hear the voice go to the four. Every once in a while you hear the bass go to the four. I wonder if the bass low E string isn't tuned down to a D because then I'm, I hear this. You can hear that low E string it sounds like a D sometimes, so not 100% sure. Or maybe he's using the D string like this. Yeah, every once in a while you just hear that on the uh, fifth bar. You'll hear it on the fifth bar, you'll hear that low D string. Or you'll hear a D note. But it's like he's covering his bets. It's like he's not sure, is this the one or the four? Muddy's singing the four. Otis Band is playing a four chord. But the guitarist and the harp is still just staying on this. Goodbye, girl. You live it too fast. So, so you can just stay on the one. Someday, baby, ain't gonna trouble for me anymore. Let's keep on betting. When I played it with Sam Lay, we would do a turnaround at that point, you know, but it's not on the original record, but it sounded good. I'll tell everybody. So all it is really is this. This is kind of like the Mississippi Hill Country stuff of today, isn't it? You know, put with this cool beat. And that's the other end with little Walter. I mean, he's the real star of the show. I mean, you can hear the whole song. If you just had only the harp, you would know it was exactly Trouble No More and nothing else. You know, nothing more, nothing else. And um, his interplay with the voice is something else there. So this is like sort of A chord 101, right? That's all it is. And uh, the other thing that's so neat about this is the beat. It's not You know, it's it's mostly on the four. Which kind of like thrills gone the same thing. Yeah, 
you still feel the two, but they're not slamming on the two and four. They're just slamming on the four. So, and that opens up a lot of space, just like on the Jimmy Reed bass lines when you have this. You don't have this so often. You just have a something that, that is less, but creates more space. So this beat is something that's less, but creates more space and creates more tension. So I guess I'll play it a little bit now. It sounds, it just doesn't sound right to play the four chord there, does it? But um, there's lots of good arrangements of this where you can do that if that's what you want to do. You can go. I actually really like the Popo version. Uh, Argentinian blues rock guitar player, really good. He had like a real cool mix between something more traditional and like the Almond Brothers style. So have fun with this song. I hope it gets you thinking about some different beats and some ways to really minimalize what you're playing. And um, I'd be happy to hear your thoughts about this song. Stay in touch and see it next time.